Seesaw. Jump roll. Das ist Säulen, das ist Säulen. Dave, we're playing with Dave. Gebur, eh? Hey, yeah. Where is this place going? We're going from Erlebor, I guess. Accidentally. Wait, this is Mihai, eh? Was he John Bro? Was it Mihai? That's a good song. Teutonic Knights by Throw Me Away. Ooh. Was it Mihai? Yeah, okay. John Bro joined Fox. Wow, wow, we wow. Uh, what's the save situation here? Burgundians against Bulgarians. We have an aggressive save. Avoid aggressive save. Let's try to play aggressive, shall we? Alright, we're gonna play one piece of this game. And we're gonna take full control in early game. And then we're gonna follow that up with a castle drop. Uh, Krapos drop in the castle age. And it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be absolutely glorious. That's his soil. Portis <laughs> boop. Time to be aggressive. That's his soil. All in few Lisbon arms, and it's a little bit too YOLO. All my last two sheep are down here. There we go. Pick them up. We um We'll open them in the arms into scouts into range probably something like that you know what does it all means uh i don't remember i know i learned or i was someone told me what it means not too long ago soil that's just sort of understood that's what does soil mean oh she's on the phone What does it mean? Wait, I don't. I cannot do a mill because I need a barrack. That I should. Okay, okay. Close enough. We'll do one more there. We need a food influx to make sure we dominate in our opening. Come on, dear. Be nice. Be nice to me. That I should. So they're just acknowledging an order kind of thing. Should be pretty solid. So far, so good. I need to find him. Well, Jordan won 4 1, not 4 0, right? I think it was a 4 0 against uh, Mihai. It was a 4 1. If I remember correctly. Yeah. 
Not sure if I can afford the stable right away. I mean, probably can. Oh, he, may, he did not see the man arms come out. He's kind of preparing a little bit of a wall up there. On gold? Why are we on gold? Is he going archers or what? Is the open? Okay. That's still fine. Probably can't afford horse color. You have to be careful. Village pathing here can get very awkward sometimes when you go into a gap like this. Also, lowering is the HP of a lot of his villagers there, which makes them targets down the road. He has to be careful. One archer out on the field. He doesn't make sure he doesn't have any low HP bills around his gold. There's a big chance I can come in and snipe them later. Yeah, this is very expensive. It's hard to afford numbers. That's a low HP bill. You probably... Ugh. I won't be able to get him. The spirit came in time. That Dave? Yeah. Um, could rush a blacksmith, get some blacksmith upgrades. Before we add the range. We have enough farms now to accomplish things. They have improved a lot, I know, right? Blacksmith or range? I think range. He's still Burgundians, right? The odds are he's playing greedy to afford eco upgrades and such. Oh, I didn't even get a kill. A lot of low HP bills, though. Oh, regrouping. See if we can uh, take advantage of that down the road. Right now, the only thing I'm taking advantage of is being wall housed non-stop. Dave the caster, yes. Still, he has very little army, right? He has horse color only, though. No uh, heavy plow. Thought I built a blacksmith. What also makes sense to me here, actually. Oh, hello. Run! Uh, this click is real. Why can't I build? Why does the villager body block? Why does the villager body block me from building? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Why do I have a spearman? Alright, we want to do this. We want to make sure... What? No wonder I'm housed. So we have a stronger army than him right now. I also want to go on stone, and I want to send four towers eventually. 
do one more. I should probably bring the lowish P villager away. He's definitely gonna sneak his archers here again. You already know, things for 10 months. Have you seen the body on the villager though? Fair. Fair point. Oh, that's another low HP villager. Yikers. We are returning the favor, if you will. Okay, when these guys are done with the bears, they can come forward. Oh! Why would they go that way? Uh, it looks like I wasted all my... What is this pathing here? What's happening? I think this is good for us. I'm gonna keep adding scouts and do more upgrades. Because why not? Let's send the army forward again. We have enough to defend at home. I'm playing ranked? Why is that surprising? I do that sometimes. Yeah, let's go a more aggressive, force him to do a tower. Then we can adapt from there. Do I really have to make more skirms here? Wait, he did armor! Ah, that's why they're so tanky. Not sure if good move or not, but he's done it. This is a pain of not having horse color. We have to say though that the uh, armor on the spears are definitely paying off. Can't miss shit, bruh. Oh, I know. Wait. Wait, this is, this is my... I lost the will. It's fine, it's fine. Those spears are tanky, man. I will have to evacuate here eventually. Okay, let's evacuate now. I think in this case, his spearman upgrades made a lot of sense. But still, he only has spears to deal with. Unless he made a sneaky stable now that I have not seen. It's like that army is going back. I would expect him to be able to go cast there soon, though. Oh, another sneaky army. Should not have. Uh, you know, I could just tower at home. He is adding a stable. This just became very fun. Some reinforcements there. Oh, almost lost it. Let's build it again. My eco is in absolute shambles. He doesn't want this to go up, so I think I'm just going to wall these things in and it will be guaranteed to go up. I think it was a good move of him though to respond with Feudal Age. Oh, he has archers there. Only one archer. Should be fine, right? 
Oh, he got in though. We'll see. I still didn't do horse color. That's good. This is market time. Time for the doubt. Uh, I almost have new army here. Oh, he has an army there. Let's do another tower there then. How does he respond to this? Oh, this tower will go down. Uh, the archer is messing with my pathing. Oh, he has another one. Okay, this will never work. <laughs> oh, I deleted all of these walls by accident. Oops. It's fine, it's fine. Part of the plan, part of the plan, part of the plan. All calculated, guys, don't worry. Then we just do the doubt, we go up. And we're cruising. One more tower. And now we're ready to drop more Cray Post with these four villagers when the time is right. Village went exactly as we envisioned. Oh shit. He would need a second stable. Otherwise, we're fine. We're the doubt implying upcoming castle drop. Uh, Cray Post drop. Almost a castle drop. Almost the same thing. Well, I have a low HP villager there. Yeah, it's archers. A bit wasteful. Light cap. A little bit wasteful. Question now is, does he do fletching or bobkin arrow? We'll find out very soon. Not reach this? This is Magugo. Uh, this is Mihai, if I understand correctly. I don't know how the villager losses overall have been now. Maybe he's taking stone to the point where he can do a castle soon. In a monastery there. Why can I not go out there? There we go. Ah. Okay. It has to be a little bit carefully done. Like that. We pray that he doesn't have a mangano ready to go very soon. What is this? What are you doing? Oh. Okay, we'll have knights coming. It should be fine. Right? You gotta get devoted. That's annoying. This might not work out. Yes, Cavalier. Hmm. Doubt Crepost? <laughs> Someone said earlier, am I doing the doubt? Turns out, maybe I am. Need to get devoted. What? Instant. Oh wait, this is problematic. I think he has enough units to break this completely. 
Oh boy. He has three TCs as well. I guess it is a doubt Krapos after all. But he's not paying attention. I, I'm building it. I'm building it. Not paying attention. What do I have a villager there? He's paying attention. No, 70%. <laughs> I guess we avoid it. I think we're in a big doo doo position right now. Yeah, I cannot fight this yet. I need husbandry, he's faster than me. And those two live, I will be very happy if they do. Oof, they do. All right, wish us luck on this adventure. Guess it's too early to send new four bills. Oh, he wants to drop, drop a castle in my face. That makes sense. I can counter drop. With my crepost, with a crepost. Uh, if I only had stone. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay. Who watch closer first? Oh no, losing bills there. I don't have economy for things. Oh, I think his goes up first. Oh boy. That's a problem. If I ever saw one. Come on! Not a doubt crap post. Seems like it. How do I get enough damage now to... To come back in this game when I have a castle in my face. I think that's difficult. I'm afraid. Or I'm afraid that's difficult. I have four stables. I don't have resources to make anything from them. I wanted to go for a four, another four crap cost. There's, why is the score still so close? I'm so dead here, right? Uh, oh, these guys are idle. I don't understand why the score is still, all things considered, relatively close. Okay, these three. Okay, we cannot use this lumber camp anymore. Uh, you guys can raid here. Did he real? He had the carry on conversion. That bug is so annoying. That's fine. He's just taking stone for another castle drop, by the way. It's gonna be tough to deal with. Kill things. Maybe we can kill enough units. We'll make enough knights to snowball eventually. Maybe down the road at some point, hopefully. Don't have high hopes, but... GG, go next. Score's getting closer, man. Why go next? Not the house. The palisade, please. Thank you. Oh, he's coming for a second castle. Do I buy another Krapos? Do we have to? We have, we have to do it again, right? No, he took my villager. That's fine. We have to do a counter... Crepos again. Re repeat the previous scenario. Where does he build it? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, he gave up. <laughs> Howard! I mean, it's kind of losing his whole economy. Isn't he? Oh, 
Don't tell me we're gonna win this game. We just did a lot of damage to him. I mean, should I just add Talonsers and play properly from here? Because he might actually have a chance. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, someone's scared of being raided, huh? Okay, we need this TC to go up. That's for sure. This forward stable has actually been very valuable. All things considered. Uh, oh, oh god, leader villager. Don't fail, don't fail. Okay, that was important. Okay, now we need to... Uh, Make sure we get relics. These Burgundians. We want to make sure he doesn't have the relics. Moodly. Am I devoted? We are devoted. I'm fine with that. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I mean, he's losing more wills than me, but also he has a lot more wills than me. So it's one of those where it's like, mm, it's good and bad. Come on, give me a conversion. Kind of want to make sure he cannot stay there comfortably. Because those wills don't really have a safe spot. Wait, where did they go? Why did they leave? Why did the wills leave? Are we about to do this again? Oh, we're about to do this again, aren't we? I think this is what's happening. Could of course be wrong. But I believe that's what he's trying to do. Or was trying to do. Oh, I may have pulled the trigger too early though. I don't know how many conversions I've given him. It was what he wanted to do. I knew it. I knew it. Let's go here. Still builds it a little bit further away. That's fine. Oh, this is dangerous. I can also build a good unique unit now. That's annoying. That's annoying. Oh, that's very nice. We are just trading blows left and right. Holy shit. There's a lot of <laughs> kills happening in this game. This has been fun. Oh god, he lost so much there. They just went by themselves, I believe, to the gold that was closest, right? I guess we don't have to. Oh god, I'm losing all those. We don't have to uh, take that. Uh, okay. Guess we do upgrades for our infantry as well, because we will have the. Dismounted Conic too. Need stirrups? Stirrups would be a really good upgrade actually, but I don't have a castle. At the moment. I'm committed. I'm devoted. I'm devoted! I'm devoted!
No! I was busy watching if I was devoted! Oh, that that's probably a turning point in the game, even. It was that significant. So much for being devoted these days. Oh, did he see those wheels run? Oh no. Yeah, I need some conics over there. We okay, still have nice up there. This is fine. Run! I have a hundred wills. Where's my economy? So many wills, but so little economy. Why don't we do some light cap up there? Do I get a conversion? No. Of course I don't. Why would I get a conversion? Huh? I need more stone. I guess I'm taking stone here, so it's fine. Am I really that bad against those units? Oh no. Third time's the charm! I have a blacksmith. What? Again? It looks like my conics are worse than his things. Score is still somehow increasing in my favor. I guess we're just building up a bigger village account, but he still has a very scary, like, snowball army. This is far from, like, clear cut, if you will. Okay, we now saw that he's going on that stone. That's good to know. You send those there. Oh, he's gonna cast. Do I do it? I'm not sure if I can afford to buy it. Let's go! Vils, stop blocking! Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. That is going to hurt a lot. For me. A lot. <laughs> yeah, this game is... Oh, it's gold. Not a town center, why not? Let's go there. I'm devoted! Okay, he has a wood line there. Good to know. Okay, finally time to get some upgrades for my dismounted Monic. Monic? Monic? I don't think that's the thing. Okay, uh, we can try to do a trick here. That should be fine. How is that still a thing? Haven't I killed this guy like 17 times already? Oh, he noticed. Nicely done. Maybe I should make some rams. Can do like a surprise ram attack. Yeah, this game is not chaotic at all. Yeah, a little bit of a sneaky ram attack here. That's the way, that's the way. You guys can try, take trees in the corner. Because why not? 
Score is slowly going in my favor, though, so I view that as a good sign. We're actually approaching population cap, even. You guys prepare with the rams over here. Oh, he found my gold. That's bad. I have like 25 TCs? No, I only have 7 TCs. Oh, you have to exaggerate so much. Come on, man. Let him out. Why are there houses there? Don't like that. Man, one sneaky stable has caused so much trouble. <laughs> Probably ready to just start sending rams and hope that he doesn't notice. Looking at this, his farm eco seems to be way worse than mine at this point. Being university, I can do it as well. Yeah, I think we're just slowly pulling quite far ahead economically. I'm devoted! I was devoted. We're about to be pop capped. Don't think he has units to defend this. I would like to take this stone unless he's already there. Then the Imperial Age seems realistic as we have 150 bills. Oh, not a doubt, Castle. Yeah, it seems like the game is over now. But this was a really fun one. <laughs> I enjoyed this a lot. Okay, next castle. I have to admit, I thought we were pretty dead at some point. I'm not gonna lie. It seemed like it. I'm sure you did. Someone said, wait, resign, don't waste time earlier. Who was that? Can someone find him in chat so we can ban him? I think that's a justified ban. Ban. Daniel? Well, Daniel, you always say stupid shit, but we still keep you around for some reason. Think. I cannot stop this anymore. Let's get Squires and Arson for our dismounted conics. We are population capped. I never thought I'd see the day. Never thought I'd see the day. She has a healthy arm here. Do we save for a castle now or do we do... <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, he's douching us! I thought it was a castle drop. not as fun. I thought it was a castle drop. I thought I was about to build a crit post again. Keep repeating the story, you know? I think he will resign with our Imperial Age. But you never know. Find that castle to defend that gold. <laughs> Incoming! I 
think we're gonna reach 100 farmers. Unless he resigns before that. Era confirmed? A crapult on the hill to, to finalize the deal. Yeah, my whole plan about, like, you know, fast feudal into forward crapples drop didn't really work out. But it was a really fun game. Oh, yeah, it was like a GG next, <clears throat> someone said earlier. How did he lose that? He played a little bit over ambitious with the forward castle drop, first of all. For him to never lose his game, all he needed to do was make first castle defensively, second castle defensively, just defend his 3TZ economy with some cavalier counter raids, and he would have been fine. But he insisted on going full aggressive counterplay. And then we were able to just eventually... Once we killed his army in Castle, we started doing counter raids. To the point where even though we were 1 TC and he had 3 TCs, we kept killing his villagers. Which meant he never really pulled far ahead, right? His first words afterward, that was a fun game too. Nice. Uh, once you said he had more bills than you, but wasn't true. You had 80, he had 60. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, it made sense, right? Even though I was 1 TC for a long time, I didn't lose too many bills. And I kept raiding him in this short area. He would never expanded past this for the first, I don't know how long. This farming eco was always raidable. We kept coming on his gold. The wood was also exposed until the castle went up. This area was constantly raided. This sneaky stable, this accidental sneak will, gave us so much value. Military score, please. We can have a check. So, 370 to 320. Yeah, these like really long castleage slugfests. Slugfests are always fun. Yeah, we're quite far ahead in the economy in the end. Whoa, okay. I didn't expect it to be this brutal in the end. You got three relics though. That's 2,000 food as well. Yeah, that, it, it, this is why the score kept increasing, right? Because I slowly just got more and more. Here it looks quite brutal. This is the early castle age, right? This is where... Wait, I was looking at feudal age. Feudal age obviously doesn't make sense. Castle age is like, he has a massive lead here, right? If he just takes this this lead into a normal macro game with a safe cast at home and so forth, he should never lose. But he insisted on the aggressive play, which meant I was also able to just slowly kind of outmaneuver him. I had also plus two, uh, plus two, plus two quite early. Um, what's the point where we surpass his villagers? Around here. We just suddenly pass him on the village account. I guess this is when I was deciding to just continue and start booming myself. Like play a normal macro game. Because we did like solid raids where we did a lot of damage. And he was forced to do a second castle defensively. And then... Uh, yeah. It just kind of... We took the lead from there.